In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Rockwell Automation's Connected Components Workbench software, or CCW, to set up your PowerFlex 523 drive. We're going to assume that you've installed CCW and launched it on your computer. Begin a new project by clicking on Catalog and expanding the Drives folder in the Device Toolbox, which is located on the right side of the Workbench screen. Double click on your drive or drag and drop it into the project organizer. A new project based on this drive has now been created. You can change the name for the project by going to File, Save Project As, give it a name and a save location. We'll call this Example Project. And then click OK. and you'll notice that the name has changed at the top of the project organizer. Now we can begin to look at configuring the drive. Rockwell Automation has provided CCW users with multiple convenient ways to configure their drives, including startup wizards. To access startup wizards, select your drive in the project organizer and click on wizards. Choose the PowerFlex 523 startup wizard and click Select. This wizard simplifies the drive setup process using step-by-step -step screens. It's recommended that you complete it in order, but I'm going to highlight a few key areas. For example, if we look at motor data, you'll see there are many values we can edit, including the motor FLA, which is currently set to 0.8 amps. Um, and if you get close to that value, you'll see that it's parameter 34, and you'll also get a range of legal values that you can set it to. And that's pretty consistent throughout the startup wizard. Um, if you get close to an item, it will show you what the parameter number is. So a little further down the list, you'll see speed control. Um, and you'll see that the speed reference is set to a drive pot by default. But if you click this drop-down menu, you'll be able to access and choose about 10 other options that you could set this to. Um, let's look at one more, digital inputs. This group lets you select the stop mode and start source as well as modify the digital input terminal block and preset frequencies. If you look at the start sources, you can see that the keypad and the digital input terminal blocks are start sources one and two, but by using these drop down menus, you can adjust that. So continue through the wizard and once you've completed all the steps, click finish. And I got a little pop-up window because I didn't go through all the steps. Another useful tool is App View. To access this, make sure you've selected your drive and then click on parameters. In the top left corner, you'll see a drop down menu beneath group. Choose this and click on parameters. And this is app view. It allows you to view parameters grouped by application. And these are really common applications like conveyors, mixers, pumps. So this will save you a lot of time and get your machine running faster. Now, if there isn't a specific application that fits your needs, you can create a custom group. Just scroll down and click on custom group and then click on edit. Now let's say you want output and commanded frequency and motor FLA and then you need cell and decel time and maximum frequency. So you're going to select them from the list below filter value and click add. Now they've been added to your custom group. Parameters can also be taken out of your group. Just select the desired parameter and click Remove. When you're finished, click OK and then close out of this window. Now say you've been setting up your drive and you'd like to see the changes you've made. You can view non-default parameters. There's a couple ways to do this. Select your drive and click on Parameters. Click on Show Non-Defaults. 
And since I haven't changed anything, nothing appears. Let's say I go back and I change the acceleration time to 5 seconds instead of 10. Now when I click on show non-defaults, you'll see that the acceleration parameter has appeared. Now there's another way to do this. Close out of this window and click on compare and make sure that compare to default and compare all ports are selected and on the left side of this window you're going to click on the parameters tab and there again you'll see the acceleration parameter so that's just another way to do that and you can close out of this oftentimes when a drive is malfunctioning for whatever reason it might be easiest just to return the drive to default settings and start new. To do this, select the drive and click on Properties. In the top right corner you'll see three buttons. If you click on the spiraled yellow arrow, a window will appear saying you are about to reset your device to factory defaults. Are you sure you want to do this? Click OK. And then you can close out of this window. Once you're satisfied with your drive settings, you can download your work to the device. To do this, select the drive and click on Download. Locate the drive, select it, and press OK. I'm not currently connected to a device, so I'm just going to press Cancel. Now it's time to save and close CCW. Go to File and click Save and then go back to file and click close. CCW will now look like this. Hopefully now you feel more comfortable using CCW to view and edit drive parameters. This is a very general startup video for a complex device and we won't be responsible for any drive malfunctions. If you have more questions they can be directed to your local drive specialist. Thanks for watching this video and good luck with your drive projects.